Hi, welcome back. We're going to learn a new song today and we're going to put it on our music staff. So first of all, we're going to learn a song about a cuckoo, a cuckoo bird. And it's not a bird that lives in our country, in America. They live over in Europe. But maybe you know about cuckoo birds. Well, do you guys know anything about a cuckoo bird? Well, well I, I've heard of it. You've heard of it? Have you ever seen a cuckoo clock? Um, well, yes. Where the little bird pops out, cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah, and that's really the sound that they make. And have you heard Cuckoo by Camille Saint-Saëns is his name? It looks like Saint Saëns, but his name is French, so it's Saint-Saëns. And he wrote a song about a cuckoo. And it's the cuckoo in the woods, and you definitely hear the, the bird. Maybe you can listen to that later. Okay, so her song is about a cuckoo bird, and it goes like this. Cuckoo, where are you? Simple as that. Like Cuckoo, where are you? That's all. Now, it's an echo song. So I would sing, Cuckoo, where are you? And then you be my echo and you sing it. Can you do it, guys? Yes. Okay, ready? I'll point to you when it's your turn to echo. Cuckoo, where are you? Cuckoo, where are you? Good. Okay, so can you tell what the sounds are in this song? Well, yes. Okay, what do you hear? What sounds do you hear? Well, so and me. Okay, so and me. Do you think you could show me with hand signs well, yes. what you hear while I sing it? I'll sing it slowly. So, if do we, what do we start on? So or me? So. Yeah, we start on so. So show me your hands. And then you move your hand down to me when you hear the sound change. Okay? I'll sing it. Cuckoo, where are you? Good job, guys. We didn't practice this ahead of time. You guys, you can hear it and you know it. That's really good. Okay, I'm going to have Jack and Thomas go sit at the table and they're going to help me know what to put on the board. Okay, can you go sit? Thank you, guys. Okay, so we're going to put it up here on the board. And we already figured out, they showed me with the hand signs, that we have so me so so me so i'm just going to write a little s for the so and an m for the me and a, and we'll do that up here so we have right here so me so so me now can you guys help me with the rhythm in our first heartbeat here what kind of a note do we have? Do we have a quarter note ta or an eighth note tt? A quarter note ta. Yeah, we have a quarter note ta, so we'll draw that there. Okay? Um, so we have coo, coo. So what about this one? Quarter note ta or eighth notes tt? It's another quarter note. It is, it's another quarter note. Okay? So we have. Coo, coo, where are you? That's an eighth note. Yeah, these are eighth notes. So this is a set of TT. Okay. And then the last beat. You, what do we have? It's another quarter note. Yeah. Quarter note. It's another quarter note. Good job. So when we transfer this down here, I want to remind you about a rule we talked about. So we talked about when so lives on a space on the staff that the me lives on the space below. But they can move around on the staff. They don't always have to stay in the same position. So a so and a me don't just have to live on spaces. They can live on lines too. So we're going to write out our song today on lines. We're going to put the so living on this second line, climbing up the ladder, one, two. That's where the so is going to live. And so the me will live on the line just below it. So I'm going to transfer this that we wrote up here down to our staff. And if you have paper or something and you want to do it with us, you're welcome to do that, or you can just watch. Okay, so we have a quarter note on the so line. That's our cuckoo or the coo part, there we go. And then the coo goes here. There we go, I need to make this one a little longer. 
It's a really big staff to write these on. So we have coo, coo, where, where are, are you? you? Yep. So I'm going to make this the eighth notes here. And I probably need to make these a little bit, these note heads a little bigger because this is a really big staff that I drew today. And then the one up. Yeah. And after you make a bigger. <laughs> Okay, so there's our eighth notes. That means, try not to smear it. Okay, that means we just have one more ta and it's on the me line. Yay! Okay. So there we go. Whoops, sorry. So we have our song. Let's follow along and read it. We have Coo, Coo, where are you? Do you remember how I said it's an echo song? How I sing, coo, coo, where are you? And you were like, is that all there is? And I said, oh no, there's an echo. So then you sing, coo, coo, where are you? So we're going to learn today about a special symbol that you'll find in music called a repeat sign. So when you have a part of music and you sing it through two times, instead of writing out, coo, coo, where are you? And then continuing, coo, coo, where are you? We're going to put in a repeat symbol, which means you sing the exact same thing over and over. Yeah, well, just two times. So you sing this, and then you go back to the where the repeat sign starts, and you sing it again. And the repeat sign, it's got two lines coming down and two little dots on the beginning, and then the same thing at the end. Two lines coming down and two little dots. And you repeat everything in the middle of those symbols. So I'll draw it here so you can see what it looks like. Um, okay. So there's there's a line here, and I have to kind of squish it in. There's two lines coming down. The first line is kind of doubly thick. And I'm sorry, I kind of cramped it in there. Then the two little dots go in the two spaces. Okay. So we have our two lines and two dots. And then at the end of the part you're going to repeat, you do the same thing. You have a line coming down. Double thick. Yep, and then the next outside line is double thick. I'll do my best here with that. And then two dots in the spaces. One here, one here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that all right. This will be something we'll keep practicing writing. So here we have right here, right within these two dots, we're gonna repeat. So we'll try it this time. Mm -hmm. Let's start here and let's sing it through. And when you get to the end of the repeat sign, go back here to the beginning and sing it through one more time. Okay? So we'll start here. Ready? Go. Coo, coo, where are you? Coo, coo, where are you? Great job. We didn't even pause. We just kept the beat going and started right back. Good job. Okay, so this song, this cuckoo song, is actually a little game that we can play. And so our next video is going to be learning how to play this game, which is sort of similar to Blind Man's Bluff. So thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to playing the game with you next time. Thank you. Oh, and